Hi, Dr. Vicki Peterson. I wanted to talk to you today about uh, several studies that have come out that have indicated that there's a measurement in your blood and it's a liver enzyme that can be a long-term sort of predictor of poor outcome from viral infections. Uh, there are several liver enzymes that are checked typically when you have your annual physical. Uh, this one is called ALT. So A is an apple, L is in little, T is in Tom. And uh, that is an indicator or a predictor of your long-term outcome to a virus, good or bad. So obviously we want this in an ideal level. And what is one of the things that this enzyme measures and is indicative of is fatty liver disease, which is something that's really on the rise in our country. It's considered a disease of lifestyle meaning we're not eating right, exercising, getting enough sleep, et cetera, all the things that we talk about on this channel. Uh, but the reason I wanted to bring it up was um, for a few reasons. One is that this particular enzyme, if you look at what's called its reference range, and your lab might be a little bit, tiny bit different, but generally speaking, you'll see a reference range of about uh, eight to 37 as sort of that normal range, an ideal, range for that uh, liver enzyme is in the teens, so not even in the 20s, but you want it in, in the teens, and uh, that would be ideal. Now, you could have it you know, 50, 60, 70, 80, and your medical doctor would likely not even mention it, or maybe just do a little nod of, oh, that's a little elevated, we'll watch it. Um, now, why is that? Because that range of 8 to 37, it has to be five times that 37 number, the higher end of the range, to have what's considered mildly elevated liver disease, and then five to 10 times that number to get into moderate, and then 10 times plus, so 370 plus to be in a severe range. So. As you can imagine, if, if you're in the 30s, 40s, 50s, um, a typical medical doctor is not going to say anything, uh, not even about fatty liver disease. They're gonna wait until it's much more elevated than that. But we don't want to wait. We want uh, our organs to function in an ideal range uh, so that there's no excess stress put upon them. Because although the liver is a very robust organ and all the parts of the body love to heal, but the liver is exceptionally good at it. It is the only part of the human body where you can take a piece off and it'll regrow. So that's pretty cool, but we don't want to take advantage of that. And that fat infiltration of your liver called fatty liver disease is something that's, that's really compromising liver function on several levels. And where it fits into immunity is that a full 10% of the, of the cells of your liver, and the liver, by the way, is a huge organ, uh, but a full 10% of it is made up of uh, immune cells. These are a special type of um, white blood cell. They're called macrophages. We recently, I did a video on the, the two arms of the immune system, the innate immune system and the adaptive immune system. The innate immune system is our first line of defense. It's a very uh, aggressive, as I said, very the first line. So it's like that virus comes in and bam, you want your immune system to jump on it very aggressively. It's in an, and these uh, macrophages, that special type of white blood cell, uh, utilizes chemical warfare to destroy the bad guys. And that's what you certainly want is an aggressive approach and a strong approach. But if your liver, which produces uh, these white blood cells as well, if it's not functioning up to speed, it's got this fatty infiltration, your liver enzyme levels indicate that because they're not in an ideal level, then your immune system is compromised. And these particular studies done on the, the COVID-19 virus have shown that long-term, um, not, not an acute type of um, poor response, but sort of looking back on the people that did poorly, seeing that long-term they had suffered these elevated um, liver enzyme, particularly the ALT that we're discussing, uh, it, it shows this compromised nature of our immune system. And it's interesting because we tend to put 
uh, different organs in different boxes and we know that 70 to 80 percent of our immune system is housed in our gut um, but but conventional medicine doesn't really think about it that way if you feel like your immune system is a little depressed they'll look at your white blood cell, cell level they're certainly not going to look for leaky gut and inhospitable organisms in your gut they're not going to look at the liver for immune function typically and it's this lack of appreciation of how everything works together which is why it's estimated only 12.2 percent of Americans are truly healthy that's really sad and but it's remediable it can be fixed so what do we want to appreciate the fact that the stem cell that original cell that then went on to become that special white blood cell that macrophage um, it went it started as a stem cell but then it uh, went to the brain as an immune cell and went to the liver as an immune cell and the lungs and the gut and it's the same type of cell and it's everywhere it's there to protect you and defend you so when we're trying to look at where we are with this pandemic of COVID-19 and appreciating wow way way too many people are getting ill and what can we do is it just is it just good luck bad luck is it you know I don't have a strong immune system so I never will it, it's not that the body repairs very very well but what we fail to do is take a nice comprehensive look at all the parts of the body because they work synergistically together so anywhere in your body where your immune system is being compromised so in this example the fatty liver someone tends to be overweight they're not getting good exercise they're eating a poor diet they're under a lot of stress there can be a compounding number of lifestyle factors coming together that are really um, contributing to this poor liver function that needs to be addressed in this individual because that's pulling down his or her ability to defend themselves so what my takeaway to you is the good news is that this body loves to heal we just have to figure out where the stressors are and when I say stressors I mean internal stressors not just mental emotional stressors but lifestyle stressors what is it that for you is really pushing down on your body and not allowing it to function the way it should and what's exciting is that the tools are natural tools they uh, don't need to necessarily be drug tools and the body loves to repair so you just take all those factors together and finding a clinician who knows how to look at all those factors and has tests to look at all those factors that's what you want so uh, if you're not happy with your health status then please reach out we do free phone consultations regardless of where you live and we can get you on a right path to uh, really regaining your health so while this is particularly for those of you who have been told you have elevated liver enzymes or fatty liver it's really for everyone who wants a robust immune system so give us a call 408-733-0400 we'll talk to you soon